morning, everyone. I have the famous, famous, the GOAT over here to my right, Mr. Tom Cole. I have myself here, Terry Crosby, on the Steve Taylor Community Connection Show. And I have to tell you, we have a special, special guest today, and I've given him a nickname. But I swear, I swear to you guys and girls out there, this guy, his nickname suits him this year. We call him Messiah, <laughs> the anointed one, okay? He has had such a great year this year for the Glass City Wranglers, a professional basketball team. University of Tennessee, you always gonna be my brother if you went always. to Knoxville, Tennessee, always. okay? Uh, to have another Toledo product, follow me and the same university I went to, and of course the University of Toledo and spent some time overseas as well playing. Uh, unfortunately, had to come back because they had the what? Volcanoes? Earthquakes. Earthquakes, yeah. yes, yes. We have a Mr. Chris Darrington for the Glass City Ringers. Chris, how are you doing this morning? Good, glad to be here. Yeah, glad man. To be here. Just tell us about what are you doing this year? How do you do it? I mean, I think the first six games of the year, you were averaging like 40 points a game. You know, just unstoppable. Mm -hmm. And I was just, amazed at your skill set on the court and your determination and your leadership abilities. You know, it's just, I was just, wow, I didn't know he had it like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just tell us, uh, how do you feel about this year in regards to your individual performance mm -hmm. and the team concept? First and foremost, you know, for me, it comes with just work. You know, mm -hmm. just putting in the work and, you know, spoke to you about it back in high school. Yep. And just talked to you about it a lot this year. Just getting up when you don't want to get up, working out when you don't right. want to go work out. Because um, it's not fun getting up at 5 in the morning. No one's there. It's not fun doing it. But I feel like if I do it and I do it more than them, then I'll be better. So that's what I credit it to. Last year, I had a, I thought that I had a pretty good year. Averaged almost, I think, 27 a game. Shot the right. ball well. But this year, I came in with a different level of focus in this. And it's just withstanding to my routine, go get treatment when I don't want to go get treatment, and then also just continually working on my faith. That's really just been a, a big process and big thing for me. I've always had a relationship with God, but just continuing to work on it actively, how I work on my um, athletic ability, and um, I've seen a difference. The Blessed City Wranglers are winning. Mm -hmm. You guys are at the top of the, the league, right? You won a couple of games on the last shot, right? Yeah. I saw those shots. I mean, they were like unbelievable. Usually in a career, you know, Supercross had a great career just like you. And uh, if you get one of those in your career, it's a big deal, right? Deal, right? You seem to be doing them like on a regular basis, you know? <laughs> You're like Larry Bird, you know? You, you don't mind taking that shot, right. you know? You have, what, what's inside of you that says, give me the ball? And I, Because there are a lot of great players that don't want that shot. Right. Now, they may have scored 35 in a game, uh -huh. but Cross is shaking his head. He knows yeah, yeah, yeah. Cross wanted the shot, right. but there are a lot of great players that they pass it off. Right. They don't want it. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to be responsible for it. it didn't go in. Mm -hmm. It's somebody special that says, give it to me, get right. out of my way, and I'll take it. Right. What, what makes you that way? I just believe in what I do when no one's watching. I believe in the reps that I put in. The process. The, the, process. the process. I okay. trust in, you know, when I go to the gym with my trainer, yeah. Michael okay. Cavanaugh, I trust that the work I've put in is gonna prevail me in the end. I believe in something called the basketball gods. Okay. You know, I believe in it. I believe they reward you for things you do that's correct. And I believe they don't reward you. But if you don't go to the gym. Taking 5,000 shots in the summer in the they, corner. They're right, gonna right. reward you. Chris gets in the corner. I'm feeling pretty good I'm about that. pretty good about yeah, it, yeah, you yeah. know? And some of these shots that I'm making at the end, I go back and I try it again the next day. <laughs> I can't make them. I can't make them, you know? So under pressure, I never, I've never had an issue dealing with pressure. I've always been a guy right. that actually does better under pressure. I feel like everybody can do it when it's easy. Yeah, you know, everyone right. can perform when it's easy, but right. when you're getting ready to lose a big game or yeah. you're getting ready to, you know, have a losing outcome, it's like, whoa, some people do say, you know, they don't want the ball, you know, I'm gonna just go sit in the corner. And I understand it, that's fine. So when we're losing by, you know, five with a minute left mm -hmm. and or we're losing by two with five seconds left. I don't worry. I don't get scared because I feel like we have me. So. Yeah, yeah, and that's a that's a wonderful feeling to have that confidence. And I notice when I watch on BCSN, there seems to be some great chemistry yes. on your basketball team. Right. Yes. And chemistry, as you know, Chris and Cross, you guys are great players. Is everything. If you like the guys 
that you're on the team with and on the floor with, you're going to play better. Right. And conversely, if you don't like them, <laughs> that a makes it a little a bit a of a problem. problem. Talk about the chemistry on the team. It's kind of different to, you know, I've been playing with guys all over the world all yeah. my life, but, you right. know, for the Toledo uh, City Wranglers, it was mostly local guys. This year, so we, you knew them going in. Yes, I okay. knew them going in. So, but this year we got guys from Cleveland. Right, a lot of guys from Cleveland, Michigan. Actually, yeah, yeah, who actually yeah. Um, sacrifice. They drive to practice. Sure. They sure. drive to games. So they're sacrificing a lot. But I didn't know these guys prior to the season. Just building that trust, competing in practice right. when right. we had right. the practice before the season started, and it, and we kind of just clicked, man. We we all are competitors, and we all want to win. It's not you know no one's. You know, I'm averaging over at 30 right now, Tom and Terry, but no one, none of my teammates have ever called me selfish. Right. If they're open, they know they're going to get the ball. Because you're not selfish. Um, right. Not yeah, selfish exactly. at all. Yeah, exactly. Not selfish at all. And, and that's one thing I really admire about your game this year. You're playing within the team concept. Right. You know? It's not like you're out there just gunning the ball. No, you're playing. And I'm really, really impressed with that. But yet you're averaging almost 30 a game. A little over. A little over 30 a game. So one thing. You need to take it a couple away from me. It's, it's a lot of, it was a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And, 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 you know, and, and I get that because often people say, oh, you ran for 316 yards in the shoe ball, right? I said, no, it wasn't 316. It was 328. Yeah, I mean, so I feel you on that one. But one of the last questions I want to ask you is the team itself, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, what do you feel like your strengths are? Mm -hmm. Because I, you guys play so extremely well together. I mean, you're really right. That mix out there, like Tom was just saying, that is pure chemistry. Yeah, I, you can I mean, see it. It, it yeah. really, really is. So I want you to mention what it's going to take for you guys to elevate mm. this year. What do you feel like as a team? Right. Okay. And also, what do you think some of your areas of improvement are moving forward? I feel that that we need to, on a consistent basis, just continue to rebound the ball. Okay. I mean, we. We're defending at a high level. Um, we're talking out there. We're mm -hmm. communicating out there. We got each other's back out there. But you can play defense for you know 20 seconds, 23 seconds, and you know we give up a tip back. Yeah. And it's like yo, we just guarded the entire yeah. shot yeah. clock, mm -hmm. and we right. give up an yeah. offensive rebound. Right. Or you know offensive rebounds they kill you. You know right. even they if do. they don't get a tip back, they get a yeah. rebound and kick it out. It's second ten. They, the they, they get the rebound and yeah. kick it out, so right. they get the and one. Now my big and foul trouble and they get a free throw yeah. opportunity right. and so it just switch you know that type of you know momentum hurts you right. when you're right. trying right. to jump out in front of a team and having a 24 second shot clock within a 12 minute game yeah. Right? Yeah. it's a lot of possession so what are you doing well though so i oh, mean, so, we, we get that yeah part. we get that we so we got to definitely clean up on right. the, you know rebounding right. and on a consistent basis mm -hmm. but we're moving the ball well we trust in each other okay people are getting open i mean they're making shots people are setting great screens you know, people are attacking downhill. Like, everyone is playing within the offense. No right. one is out here trying to be a hero. No one's out here consistently taking bad, mm -hmm. bad shots. No one's out here, um, you know, and one thing I really do like, when something needs to be said, guys are taking it. And right. it's not like, why are you talking to me right. like that? Right. Why are you right. acting like that? That's it's not huge. like that. That's huge. And, and, I, and I really appreciate it mm -hmm. because I go get on my teammates. I'm gonna hold them all accountable. Right, right, sure. Right. And I might yell, or I might say, "Sit, sit, sit." You hold right. yourself accountable and too, and that's so, why. And that's what one of my teammates said. They yeah. said, "Chris, I really appreciate mm -hmm. that I could come and talk to you yeah. right. the same yeah. exact way." Yeah. Right. And right. I don't, right. and I don't lash out. I just say, "Okay, that's let's so move important. on." It, it looks that's to me, so watching important. you guys, uh, CD, is that, uh, and we have a Taylor night coming up, April twenty eighth. Uh, we're gonna all get our employees mm -hmm. down there. It's gonna be great, and we'll be, we'll be on you. But um, it seems to me that there's a very high basketball IQ on your team. Like I watch the court spacing. Mm -hmm. I watch who should be getting the shots and where. Right. You, know, right, right, you guys right. know, you right. guys are right. prolific right. scores. Right. Right. It's, right. A lot of right. it is is what your personal shot chart is. Right. I know that I'm good you know, here, but I'm not so good there. back here. And it looks like people on your team understand what Kind of shots they should be mm -hmm. taking, right? Uh, where their spacing on the court should be, you know. Right. It looks like those kind of IQ things are good. They they are, and and I think they know from how the defense has been playing me right. all year where and when they're going to get their shots and what shots that they need to work on on gotcha. a consistent basis when they go to the gym. Yeah. So it's just been easy for me to kind of like lead these guys. I just kind of. Right. I just got to, I want to bring this up. I just got a new position at my job working uh, with 
people with developmental disabilities, they have autism. Congratulations. Um, working with the Rook Center, Ted Marshall said yeah. he knows you well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be um, great. You'll said be he, great. Yeah, said he knows you well. So you will be great. I've been having, thank you. I've been having an opportunity to kind of leave guys off the floor and you know put people in schedules and right. talk about this, this, that with this client. So it's just been an amazing opportunity for me off the floor to continue to work on my leadership, and I'm seeing the results of it on yeah. the floor this year. Too. You, know, you know what, Chris, you've always been a great leader, and I know Cross would agree with this. You've always been a great leader as a youngster in, in high school and now a grown man because you lead, and, and it's kind of like what Steve Taylor does. Steve respects people that he works with and people that he employs, and when you respect people that you work with, mm -hmm. they will accept the leadership. Right. If you no, don't respect right. them, then that, that's a whole different ballgame. But you're, you're that kind of guy. You respect people and... And you're going to get the best out of your players. Yes, yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah, yeah, 100 you know, and, and, and I see that, man. We're, we're so excited. In fact, you have a game tonight, right? We got a game tonight. Yeah, coming 7 o'clock, West Virginia. Yeah, 7 o'clock, West Virginia. Coming off a tough loss by two. Lost by two. Man, and I, I have to mention to you about that. Now, Kokomo, Indiana, yes, right? Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong when I, before I even say this, but... Have they beat us three straight times? Four. They beat us four straight times? Four straight times. Okay. So we need to, uh, I might suit up. Oh, okay. <laughs> we definitely got to uh, figure this out. But my, yeah, my we, got, we got to figure that one out. Chris, it, it's going to be a five-minute contract. <laughs> and, and you're going to have to work something to get across the ball in a shooting position. I'm going to have to do a you, lot. You're going to have to do a lot to get him set up. Right, we're going to have to debate uh, who's getting the ball, okay? Because you're used to the ball in your hands. It's so am I. Yes, yeah, so we got to figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, but hey, it's been great having you here. Uh, time to go. Thank you very much, sir. My I really, really, really I've, been a, I've been a fan of CDs going back to his, nice. his high school days. He's always been a class gentleman, a leader, a great guy, and he, nothing but success for you going forward, as always, Chris. And I just want to say to the, the whole city of Toledo, your communities, your families, it's a great family night. It really, really yeah, is. Yeah, go so, see the Wranglers. Yes. It's, a, it's a great thing. It really is. So just come on out and support us. We play at the Shack Center, correct? Yep. Out, 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 out at Orange. Out at Orange. And Chris will bring the kids. He'll sign some autographs for the kids. So yep. he'll do it. He's, Chris is, is an inspiring young man to me. Okay, that about wraps it up. It's Terry Crosby. It's Chris Messiah, the anointed <laughs> one, Darrington. And it's the GOAT, Mr. Time Cub. We'll see you later.